Hey, I'm Nick Pathlon Gamer, and welcome to a Pro Cycling Manager feature. We are featuring a new database that has just launched uh, for PCM21. This is DB Nations. Uh, this database is brought to you by Go Spurs Go. Thank you for uh, putting this one together. It's taken quite a bit of work to get it ready, and it does utilize at its core the the primary world database, which is the same one that I use on the channel. In DB Nations, what you're getting here is this mod allows you to play over 350 races on the UCI calendar with 136 national selections and 13 U23 teams for all single player game modes. In partnership with the world database, you'll be able to enjoy a global experience with variants of the 2022 races, Tour de France, Paris-Roubaix, etc. The largest pool of real riders on the workshop, with over 6,500 uh, 6, riders, and graphic element, uh, elements and equipments to download in additional packs. Let's go ahead and jump into the game and let me show you what it is that this database is providing First us things with. first, this database will permit you to use all game modes. So you can do this in career, you can do this as one-off races, whatever you like. Instead of getting the, the Euros or the World Championships essentially as one-off races each year, what this database does is it revamps it from being the teams that we know to being national teams, which is actually how the sport was ridden about a hundred years ago. So what we have here is instead of a Jumbo Visma, we have Belgium, we have France, we have the Netherlands, we have all of the top countries. There's a US team, there's a South African team. And you can see we also start getting into the U23 teams. The younger riders who don't make the top list, don't make that senior team. There's an Italy under 23s, France, Belgium, the Netherlands, Spain, Germany, and so on. We're all the way down to Costa Rica, which really only has one top rider. Lithuania, a team that features regularly on my playthrough as we are taking a world challenge, not taking the primary teams. Uh, Latvia, Estonia couple others that uh, are on the outside looking in. Taking a look here, this Belgium team contains 32 riders led by Wout van Aert, Remco Evenepoel, Tim Mulier, Jasper Philipsen, on down the list to a really quality team. Your weakest riders are 73 with Maxim van Giels. All right, folks, so we're going to pick up with a random Tour de France stage. Well, Another not so random. We're heading up the uh, Galibier here first to open this one up. But uh, we're going to get a look at what this database brings to the game, to the table. And you can see here we have a Canadian rider, a Polish rider, a Swiss writer, and then this is what Austrian writer in Google. Really like some of the jerseys here. Uh, I'm, of course, as an American, controlling the American team, which is really quite weak here. There's McNulty, you have Sepp Kuss. There's a little bit of quality, but it's it's pretty limited. Nielsen Palace was a big hope for the Americans, but hasn't quite materialized just yet as you, know, you can see here from his stats he's he's not bad not a bad rider but far from an elite talent so the great thing about what this da database provides you with is well multiple opportunities you can take something we know and love you could take the tour de france and race it with national teams going head to head instead of the same old thing. So if you've gotten bored with the same old game, this provides a wonderful variation to the standard, to the, the vanilla the pro cycling manager. 
but more than just the one-off race, the one-off classic, the monuments, the the grand tours. Some team Beyond mustn't appreciate the just what they provide away. is a unique experience that you can get in the career mode. Now, recommendation-wise, I would probably only play one season of something like this. Main reason for that is the way the the game is coded, the way it's built. It is possible for riders to transfer out of your team into another team. They don't have the restrictions that you would have of sticking with the riders from your nation that you could set upon yourself. The AI doesn't have that, and this mod does not block that. However, I have read in the comments of the mod that it has been set up in such Look, a way the pack has taken its that off the gas. it the is team leaders can't be really about the breakaway. hard to sign riders from other nations. But it's not impossible. So in subsequent seasons, you That's would be looking at a scenario where there's going to be variation. There is going to be some riders moving to another nation. And the moment that happens, the moment a leader, the moment a WoW fan art moves to the US squad, for example, it's going to totally change the game and it's going to defeat the purpose. So at least for me, it is. But as a one season, I think it's outstanding. Or do you want to take a small nation? and give yourself a challenge my wife's from the philippines let's say you take a philippines team whether they're even available in here whether there's enough writers in here let's assume there is i know that there's plenty of nations listed i've seen guam listed on on the team sheet <laughs> wouldn't that be something playing as guam somebody who's been there that would be really cool take a small nation that's essentially at the continental level and try to develop that nation through recruitment of others which uh, apparently is difficult right so through the difficulty of trying to recruit writers from other nations to be a part of your nation in theory we could say that's to adopt them right to to take on your nation as as an adopted son of your nation and give them citizenship and have them ride under your banner theoretically right role playing here but to do that and to build that nation up into a competitive nation against the actual powerhouses in theory that's that's something that would be pretty cool so through a little bit of role playing, I could absolutely see how you could turn it into a multi-season career. Regardless, it's a different spin on what is normal, what is standard, what is Pro Cycling Manager as we know it. But it takes an element, takes an element that we're familiar with and builds upon it. That being the world championships or the european championships as the game now features for me i haven't been able to experience either in any substantial form this season because in my career mode i am doing the world team which means i don't have control of any major nation Speaking of playing this one, before we wrap this up, if you want to check it out, by all means, get in the workshop on Steam and check it out. Ghost Wars Go has definitely put plenty of work in to, to make this database happen. But more than that, if you want to see me do something on the channel, let me know in the comments below. If there is enough interest, then 
I will be happy to add this to the channel. Now, of course, it would come at the expense of something else, but I know my Stage Racer series, it's it's nearly done. Uh, my Career Mode series, we're, we're 115 episodes into that. We don't need to do it three days a week at this stage. I'd, I'd be happy to sacrifice a day of this and a day of that and, and work the schedule out. But let me know in the comments what you would like to see if you would like to see something. Should we do a single season as the American team or some other team? What would you like to see? Regardless, I think this would be pretty cool to, to try out for you, for me, for anyone. Let's go ahead and enjoy this thing as the final climb up the Alp d'Huez happens automatically. Hands off for me. I might be controlling the American team, but I'm very much not involved. Sepp Kuz in a nice position here. Just one rider left off the front. And we're seeing the big attacks with 9k to go. Really thin in the field out. A group of six has gained separation here. And let's get up there to see who it is, what's going on. Carapaz now being left behind. Vingegaard struggling to keep up. Moss, Bernal, Woods hanging on with the main group. And Roglic and Pogacar. Pogacar leading out for Roglic. Roglic now on the attack. This group has the opened up a bit more of a gap. Attack. It's down to 5K. Roglic attacks and the then Pogacar leaves the group behind. So those four riders now left to try to chase the two leaders single-handedly, and Vingegaard, who was struggling, has somehow hung on to the wheel of Michael Woods, Henry Kamas, Bernal, and now a an additional chase group that was behind Almeida and Yates leading the charge in the chase. But it is the duo of Roglic and Pagacher not going head to head, but as teammates entering the final kilometer, looking very likely to win duking it out and it's gonna be Roglic to take the title here up Alp Duez ahead of Pogacar with the 1-2 for the, the Slovenians. Yates jumps ahead of the other group to get third from behind and there is your race result. All right if you'd like to check it out it's available on the Steam Workshop. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.